Hello everyone, Manuela Marcajani from Eisenmer's Laboratories. Welcome to our channel. This is a channel where we talk about the science of skin care from a cosmetic chemist and a manufacturing point of view. The topic for today is debunking wrinkle myths. First myth, if my parents have wrinkles, am I bound to get them? Is it hereditary? Well, yes and no. Aging, <laughs> hopefully, is hereditary in the sense that as you age, your skin is going to age, you are going to start to see a change in your collagen quality. So it's not just because your parents have wrinkles. Everybody will eventually, as you start aging, you will start to start you will start to see lines and wrinkles in your skin. And this is a function of your collagen quality. Now, the rate at which you age, when you start to see the visible signs of aging, how quickly you age, what you look like at certain times in your life, that is actually more dependent on your lifestyle and your skincare habits. So if you start early and you have good skincare habits and you follow, you know, protect yourself from the UV, you're going to eat well, you're going to have good habits, your parents may have aged, you know, very, very slowly and you may have a very, very stressful lifestyle. I remember like my grandmother, lives in Umbria, lived in Umbria, Italy, and in a very small town of 2,000 people on the top of a mountain. She was 106 years old, and you know, she had really great skin. It's the food there, it's the lifestyle there. She didn't have any wrinkles, right? But you know, we are in the city, we have different food, different environment, we're wrinkling. So you see, so it's not, it, it, it's also a product of what happens around you. Another myth that there's one perfect anti-aging routine out there. There isn't. Everybody's different. We all have different lifestyles and different habits. So what works for me may not work for you. This is really something to understand. And what works for me today may not work for me next week or next year as lifestyles change. So you have to basically work with what you have, start paying attention. You may have to try a couple of things. If something is working, stick with it. If it's not working, figure out where is it that you wanna go? What's your plan? What's your next step? And then start selecting products or routines that get you to that goal. Another myth is that moisturizing prevents wrinkles. Absolutely not. Moisturizing and wrinkles are not related, okay? This is wrinkle, what is a wrinkle? A wrinkle is an absence of collagen, right? So again, if you're thinking about fabric, you're thinking about a shirt, right? You see all the, the weave of your shirt, your fabric, the, the string that goes back and forth? If you start pulling those strings out, that's like the collagen in your skin. That creates a wrinkle. That is what a wrinkle is, an absence of collagen. A moisturizer, what a moisturizer does is it brings moisture or it brings oil, lipid, it brings softening. It doesn't fill in the wrinkle or repair the wrinkle. To fill in a wrinkle or repair a wrinkle, you need something that's going to create collagen, stimulate collagen, and create that, um, what they call the dermal matrix, that, that, that organization within the skin. So it's very different. What moisturizers can do though, because they hydrate, they plump up, they bring moisture, and sometimes they have binders in there that can fill in the surface a little bit like spackle or self-leveling elements in there. Some silicone, some waxes and oils, or they can have some hyaluronic, they can have different kinds of ingredients. They can actually create a smoothness and a softening of your skin surface, which visibly makes your wrinkle look less deep but it doesn't get rid of the wrinkle. It doesn't repair the wrinkle. It doesn't remove the wrinkle. Another myth is that you only need to wear sunscreen when it's sunny and that's not true. Uh, the reason is even though you don't see the sun, it could be a cloudy day, the sun on top of those clouds has invisible rays going right through those clouds, coming straight down and straight down to you. So that's why you wear sunscreen. Also, this is why you wear the sunscreen in the winter time um, because snow 
You know, a lot of times they're saying, well, it's snow, I'm not, you know. Snow is water, water is reflective, right? So that's actually gonna bounce that on back onto you. So sunscreen all year, every day. Another myth is that the best treatments for wrinkles are expensive. And that couldn't be further from the truth. Good formulated skincare, anything for wrinkles, for pigmentation, for anything, does not have to be expensive. The science is the truth and it is designed, it is there and it's available for anyone who wants to utilize scientifically sound ingredients that are peer reviewed, where there's studies and they actually work. There is another world though of sexy packaging, celebrities, marketing, stories, color, flash, you know, part of a trend. That's where you're spending your money. You're not spending your money on the science. You're spending your money on all the other things. So this is why in skincare, it's really about the quality and content of the formulation actives. And that's where the focus should be. I hope you enjoyed our myth debunking for wrinkles. Uh, thank you so much for spending time with us today. I look forward to talking to you real soon.